What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and today you join me at the Monterey Jet Center for a private exclusive party hosted by the Monterey guys for all like the millionaires and billionaires that are here for the weekend. We have so many insane cars here. Huge shout out to Daniel and Paige from NorCal Low Life for hooking it up with the absolute VIP passes. I'm actually in the show this time. Last year we tried to sneak in here and we fell short, but this year we're 100% legal and confirmed. And we're gonna check out this thing. We got all sorts of cars. We got McLaren Senna's, Ford GT's, F12 TDF's, and lots of celebrities here. So let's take a look around the Monterey Jet Center show and enjoy ourselves. Come along with me. So here we have a McLaren Senna set in gray and blue. I believe this is the one from Austin. So it's repping the home state, yes. Got the Senna plate with a Tory Senna's old car on the wing. Very beautiful. This came up with the rally today. We're gonna check out those cars tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one, but this is bad to the bone, guys. You know how it is. Whew. So this couldn't be possible tonight without my boy Daniel. He's absolutely hooking it up. Hooking it up. LAOC Exotics. His link is always in the top of the description because he's one of my homies. So make sure to subscribe to him. He just hit 2,500 subscribers. Let's get him to the next milestone, 3,000. I know 500 of yeah. y'all are cool enough to go subscribe to him. So don't forget, LAOC Exotics, let's do it. I won't let you guys down. I know. I've taught him everything you know. Everything. He's taught me a lot too, so we're grinding together, baby. Let's do this. Check out this ride. An old Mustang powered with a Ferrari engine. No games being played here. This thing is crazy bad. Yeah, never seen this before. That interior is awesome. All carbon fiber, no headrests. Got the racing harnesses. This is crazy. I'm so happy to be here. is absolutely packed there's so many cool people we were just talked to the strad man very cool guy very cool guy never actually talked to him in person before but i like his stuff and i'm a big fan of his channel so good thing to meet him here we have another houston local car we got our f12 tdf from ix exotics the boys brought it out driving around this the pista and i think the 16m this week so hopefully we'll get to ride in one of these in the upcoming days but very, very cool to see another Houston car representing out here in Monterey. Inside the show is absolutely packed. I'm gonna do my best to get you the best for content, but look at this green. That is paint, fellas. Looks like a snow pea. Got an all blue carbon shear on, black wheels, black sea, and baby blue interior. That is awesome. Check this out, guys. Got a 918 Spider with the Y sack pack. This is not acid green, it's a little bit darker. I know it comes across very bright on camera, but I don't know. It's just it's a tad darker. It's almost the same green as the Ferrari up there. That is so cool. Let's sneak past some millionaires right here and check this out. Wow. McLaren F1 GTR long tail, I believe. Not 100% sure. I've never seen this before, so don't hate me. This thing is absolutely crazy. This has to be at least like 30 feet long. What? You can tell it's a long tail because it's like the regular F1 would stop right here. But no, no, no. They had to add a whole nother section and a big wing. That's absolutely crazy. What? This thing has to be worth millions.
right guys, check this out. I think this is one of three or 50. One of two, four GT Mark II track only for GT variant. Look at that roof scoop and the big wing that comes on it. My God. The people that got these cars are very, very lucky. You can kind of see the interior, but this thing is mad. Jeez. So right next to the Ford GT is the new Shelby GT500 Mustang. This thing actually looks pretty good in person. I had my doubts about it, but Mustang's gonna do what a Mustang's gonna do, and you know what that means, so. Catch these crashing into a crowd near you. 2019, 2020. This is a manufacturing car. It looks pretty good. Very, very nice. But I just really can't get over how wicked that is. I would take that any day of the week. This is a car show, but the jewelry here is pretty impressive. Look at that ring. That's a solid rock right there. Everything in here is all diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. Call me a pirate, because I'm looking for that booty. All right, I don't know what that is, but I want it, and I'm gonna get it. In the VIP exclusive lounge, look at these foods. The water right there. And the waters. I'm gonna try one of those and one of those. So if I didn't feel out of place, now I feel super out of place up here on the red carpet. This is the VIP only area. Overlooking the entire show. Rogue Green, Creme Brulee. And rubbing shoulders with millionaires, baby. All right, ignore the guy talking. Here's the view of the whole show, baby. That's so crazy. That bowl of rice is. I need that. I need that in my belly right now. Yeah, but that one. Oh, sorry. All right, here we got a stage three Roush Mustang in the Gulf livery, fully equipped with the racing helmet, carbon fiber, everything. Very nice wheels and the front splitter. I would take that any day of the week. So here's something I've never seen before. It's a Roof R Spider. I think it's based like off an old Cayman or a Boxster or something. Very cool, all redone. Interior's like quilted leather, black and orange with a roof thing everywhere. Little bits of carbon fiber, not too much, but not too little. And then we got the Gunther Works Porsche right across the way. So this thing is really, really cool. I just heard the guy say it's one of four ever produced. So that's pretty rare, exciting, and it's beautiful because it's old Ferrari and they did it right back in the day. Then we got a bunch of other cool cars over here. Got the new Bentley finished in brown, which is kind of whack, but it's still a Bentley. And then we got this thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know my old Ferraris very well, but if you guys know, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Check 
this out guys this car is really cool I was told it was built off a fire truck chassis with a Rolls-Royce V12 in it I don't know what it's called but that is all the information I know you can see the engine right in there and all the workings and mechanics of it that is so cool and she's been sitting in it all night long but look how big those tires are and look how sharp that is that is a deadly rear end Exhaust pipes, though. Hey. plane show without getting a ride or sit in one of these private jets they got so this one has the shortest line I've been in a private jet two times before but it'll be cool to check this one out this one's kind of tight there's a bunch of good shots of Daniel's butt back there so we're in the private jet about to take off we're gonna go fly back to Houston yeah need a need some water burger right now what do you think about it? This is crazy. I've never been a private jet before. We've got a little sink right here. Here's the handle in there. we got some carbon fiber on the seats. Yeah, yeah. Beauty, beauty. All right, see you guys when we land. Dang, he's really giving it the beans. <laughs> That's crazy. You ever hear a shear on rev before? I don't think I have. No way. Only right here, baby. Before we leave, this is the Type 57 Atlantic from Bugatti. One of three ever made. And the third one, I believe, was the one that got lost. And that's why they made the La Vitura Noir, which is that new one that we saw in Geneva. But this is an absolute legendary car with a legendary story. So it's crazy we get to see it today. All right, guys, thank you for joining me at the Monterey Jet Center kickoff party for Car Week. We had a great time, lots of planes, lots of cars, and lots of good food. So if you guys enjoy the video, want more exclusive content like this, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.